On the day of his bar mitzvah, the Baal Shem Tov sat in the base of Midrash by himself. He was sad. He was thinking to himself, what good was all of my work? I spent these years being a teacher for all the younger kids, teaching them about loving a fellow Jew as themselves, and here I sit on the day of my bar mitzvah all alone. Furthermore, I can't even learn all this Torah. There, I'm surrounded by books, but I can't read one of them. So he's feeling very bad for himself. And while he was thinking these thoughts, the door swings open, and these two poor-looking men walk in. The one man he recognized. To cite an earlier story, he, he recognized that this was the man that came to the shul one time when he was saying Kaddish, and he used to learn with him, and it was later found out that this was Eliyahu Hanavi. The other man he didn't recognize. But he got up immediately and ran over to them, and he bowed his head in acknowledgement, respect. They reciprocated, and Eliyahu took his hand and they walked back to the table. The Baal Shem Tov sat down, and Eliyahu immediately started shuff shuffling through all the books on the table, until he found one book. He looked at the Baal Shem Tov and he said, this is a very holy book, very holy. And he gave it to him. He opened up the book and saw the word Zohar printed on the top, with Jerusalem underneath in gold letters. And a kid, the, the Baal Shem Tov knew this was a very holy book. So then Eliyahu started reading it. He opened it up, flipped to a page. He started reading a part that said, On the day of King David's bar mitzvah, Hashem called to him and said, You are my son. Today I have given birth to you. And immediately the Baal Shem Tov was overjoyed. He's thinking, that's like me. That's literally my situation. I've spent my life thinking that I was alone, that my father is no longer with me, hearing kids calling their fathers, Abba, Tati, whatever it is. And I felt so bad, but now I realize Hashem is my father. Hashem has always been my father, and He always will be my father. And it's not just me, it's all of us. And immediately, uh, Eliyahu asked him, he says, so you understand? Baal Shem Tov nods, yes, I understand. Then the friend chimes in, and he says in Hebrew, oh, the kid understands? He says, yeah, he understands. He's a little shocked. So then, Eliyahu flips to a later page, in the, verse, or in the Parsha of Vayikra. He starts reading where Rabbi Elazar, the son of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, asks him, he says, Why is there so much hunger and drought in the world? We know that these things come into the world because of the three cardinal sins that are to do with it. Maishr Shani, um, Chala, and Truma. He says, but these are mainly are to do with the rich people. So why are the poor punished as well? So Rabbi Shimon brings a story from the Zohar to explain this. He says in the Zohar, one day a rich man went to the temple to offer a sacrifice, a sin offering of two doves. The Kohen looked at him and said, I'm not accepting this. This is not your sacrifice. Go home. So the man went home and he was sad. So when he arrived at home, his brother asked him, he said, why are you sad? So he says, well, I went to offer my sacrifice, but the Kohen wouldn't accept it. He said, why? What did you bring? I brought two doves. He says, oh, well, that's why. That's not your sacrifice. You need to bring a bull. And so the man says, if I have to bring a bull every time I think bad thoughts, it's not worth it. I'm making a vow this very day to never have bad thoughts of sinning ever again. And from that day on, he became known as Yehuda Acher, different, Acher meaning different, because he changed his ways. He started waking up early in the middle of the night He'd wake up his brother and the two of them would uh, learn until the break of dawn. And from this, the Baal Shem Tov understood three things that came to be the foundation of who he became to be. The first thing he learned was that one should learn a great deal at night. After that, he learned that when a person learns Torah, he becomes a different person. Every day is be crea being created anew, a new soul constantly. Finally, he learned that all the troubles and the hunger in the world come about through the rich who are not taking care of the poor. So Baal Shem Tov said on that day, he had a, a feeling. He knew that one day he wants to be great. And when he becomes great, he's going to surround himself with Torah scholars, holy people. And they're going to study these deep secrets constantly. And they're going to go around and they're going to collect money from the rich and they're going to distribute to the poor. And they're going to do the same with their money. Furthermore, he said that he's going to learn constantly and he's going to make sure to tell everyone the story of his bar mitzvah. And this is that story. So Shavuot Tov.